When it comes to test rides, I'm typically the guy that picks sleds with big motors, big suspension, or big lugs. But when it comes to trail riding, you know what? I'm just looking for comfort. Today we'll be riding a sled that's been in Skidoo's lineup for a few years, but redesigned in a totally new platform. Actually, redesign doesn't quite cut it. This sled has been reinvented with ultimate comfort and rideability in mind. The 2010 GSX SE 1200 Fortech. Man, that's a lengthy name. Built on the XR chassis, the SE takes everything of the best that Skidoo has to offer and rounds it up into a one-up touring dream. Under the hood, we find the high-tech 1200 Fortech mill that's pumping out numbers in the 130 horsepower range. Essentially a 600 class competitor, the four-stroke's ability to spool up and produce huge torque is what differentiates this motor from the two-strokes. Oh, and its power delivery is so smooth, you'd swear it's electric. There's no denying that the 1200 motor is just a little bit jumpy on the initial throttle tip in. This is gonna keep some buyers just a little bit cautious at first, but once you put some miles under your belt, you're gonna to start to better understand this motor's characteristics. Inevitably, the four-stroke motor adds weight in the range of 20 pounds heavier than its two-stroke LE brother. However, as I'm starting to find out with four-strokers, it's not so much overall weight numbers, it's how that weight feels when you're out on the trail and how good of a job the suspension does at settling down that weight through the bumps. When it comes to the suspension department, there truly is no other competition. The consensus, not only from the crew here at Snow Tracks, but also our fellow riders at Super Tracks, is that this sled is it. Thanks to the air spring remotely controlled rear arm shock, you not only get the plushness of air, but the ability to adjust between five preset settings on the fly. Like Air Ride, the sled has a small compressor that actually pumps up and bleeds the shock to adjust ride height and overall plushness of the ride. Out on the trails, there's a wide variety of amenities that make the GSX worthy of the SE name. Things like tilt steering, heated seat, factory mirrors, and the rear tunnel bag. Keeping the rider at their maximum comfort level is what this sled is all about. Skidoo has even gone so far as to run a Camoplast ripsaw with silent track technology, so even the track noise is reduced. With all these added features, one of the standard things we've come to appreciate the most is the incredible amount of footrest room for riders with even the biggest of feet. The seated position keeps your knees in an all-day comfortable riding position and gives your feet the freedom to move around and not feel like you're locked into the footrests. Pushing this sled through its paces comes naturally. The miles almost seem to just click by without you even noticing while you're out enjoying your surroundings, God's creation. Certain sleds keep your knuckles white in anticipation for the next bump or hit that could throw the front end off course or make a sudden, unexpected move. The GSX SE carves through the snow and glides along with such ease that even the most timid rider will feel at home. There are very few snowmobiles that there isn't a complaint about one of the many issues like darting, pushing, a choppy ride, or uncomfortable ergonomics, but the GSX SE truly delivers a ride that not only allows you to fully enjoy your ride and surroundings, but keeps you coming back for more and your body from feeling the fatigue. While I may sound biased, it's only because of the time I've put in on the 2010 GSX SE that I can make these claims and truly say, this is no sales pitch, this is reality.